The 10th edition of the Agritech exhibition launches in Doha. Qatar's ambassador to Libya meets the country's UN envoy in Tripoli. The UN Secretary General says the International Day to Combat Islamophobia is a call to stamp out anti-Muslim hatred. And finally, FIFA approves a brand new format for the 2026 edition of the World Cup. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top story. The 10th Qatar International Agricultural Exhibition kicked off on Wednesday with this year's edition being the biggest one yet. Over 675 exhibitors have come in from 55 countries, showcasing their projects at the event, which serves as a strategic forum for exploring potential approaches for the development of Qatar's agricultural industry. Among the attractions at Agritech is a vegetable market as well as a market for honey and dates for visitors to enjoy. Now, Qatar has renewed its support for Libya's political process following a period of turmoil and an absence of elections. Qatar's ambassador to Libya, Khaled al Dosari, met with the UN envoy Abdullah Batali in Tripoli, expressing the Gulf state's support for Batali's efforts to ensure stability in the country. Global calls for a national reconciliation have also been growing through the African Union and other entities. The United Nations has marked its first ever international day to combat Islamophobia following the unanimous adoption of a General Assembly resolution last year. The organization's Secretary General said the day is a call for action to stamp out the poison of anti-Muslim hatred. Islamophobia has been on a rise, particularly in Europe, with far-right figures burning copies of the Quran publicly over the last few months. And finally, the 2026 FIFA World Cup, which is being held in the US, Canada and Mexico, is set to have a complete new look and format. 48 teams will participate in the tournament, with the number rising from the traditional 32. Group of four teams each remain, with the number of groups increasing from 8 to 12. For the entire list of exciting changes coming into the next FIFA World Cup, head over to our website. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.